Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and you may notice that we have a special guest here today. This is... Keenan. And I'm, he's the guy. I'm 29. <laughs> I'm seven at heart. And he's gonna be with us painting. I thought it'd be fun to bring him from behind the camera to paint this cool dragon with us. So this is what we're doing. The dragon! What'd you name this one? I named this one Steve. Okay, we're gonna be painting Steve, but you can make your own. We all, we're gonna name him at the end. But to start out, to grab out a piece of paper, a pencil, and watercolors and your brush. So we squeezed out a few drops of yellow and blue, and that's what we're gonna start with because our dragon is green. Oh. So we're gonna make blue. He's not yellow or blue. He's got some in there. All right, perfect. Okay, so the first step actually is before we go to our watercolors, we're going to draw this. So I know you can do this. We're gonna break it down into small steps and we all can do this together. So grab your pencil. What about our oath? And our oath. Okay, we can start with that. You're right. Okay, you wanna do it? You do it. What? I got nervous. Okay, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <sighs> Boom. Okay, now we're ready. We're super excited. Okay, now grab your pencil. Oh. First step is, actually, before we start, what I want to say is that if you've done our unicorn with us, which you can watch that video, you'll notice that it's pretty similar. Mm. So these are similar steps that we're going to do to make this. That's why I wanted to do it together. So first step is that I would draw... The steps are in the zine. Yes, thank you. Do you want to show them? Sure, I'll show. Okay. If you have our zine, you can flip to page 17. 17. 38. Perfect. So you can see all the different steps that we're oh, going to be sorry. going through. Oh, no, you're I'm good. excited. You're good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. So first step is that we're going to draw the head slash nose. So to do that, I would draw kind of more towards the top and about the center. So what you're going to do is you're going to start there and you're going to draw a curve coming down and then maybe come in a little bit to draw the nose mm. and then come out. So then if you want to stop and then you can curve it back around. So we're going to come back around and we're going to draw this part. So curve it and then have it come in. So we're going to draw the neck part. We're dragging. Good job. Thanks. Good job. Okay. Now the ears are on top. So you're going to start from your line up here. Okay. And you're going to draw your ears. You can choose how triangular you want them to be. Oh, whether it's a straight line or a curved mm -hmm. line. Sweet. And how sharp they are. So you're going to draw a line to the right. And then what actually we might do is leave a little bit of space here and start about there for the second ear. You're going to draw another curve. And then what you can do is you have that, so maybe you connect these, and what's happening is we're drawing the ear behind it. And you can draw some jagged edge. I did a jagged edge. Good job. Thank you. Okay, and then we're just going to finish it out and connect these. So you can either have, maybe you have a jagged edge like Keenan did, but you're just gonna have it connect back at some point. It doesn't need a touch. You can have it touch if you like, but it doesn't need to. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now we are going to draw the body part of our dragon. Okay. So to do that, it's actually, think of it like a backwards S, or we're just gonna do some, some curving. Nice. So start down at the neck, and you're gonna curve and come down. So go inward and curve, and then come out and curve to the left. Yep, so we're drawing the, the front part, and then you can come, if you wanna come all the way down to the edge. Yeah, okay. Now, what do we have? We are going to do the back part of our dragon. So, to do that, let's see. Sorry, I wanted to clean up a couple lines. You're good, you can totally do that. If you wanna do that, take some time to do that. You're the artist. Cool. Okay, now, start up around the ear. You can either start right here or you can start somewhere along the ear okay and we're going to continue so we're drawing this part of the body the back part so you're going to go out to the right and curve a little bit actually well yes yeah. so we can what I'm thinking is that we're drawing this so it depends if you want your scales or the back to be really big 
then you would draw your line a little bit more okay. inward. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. I just thought about that. Okay, so we're going a little closer. Yeah, to okay. a little closer so that we can leave room for a scale. So come down, yep, come down. And then you can curve. You don't have to curve as far. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Then we are going to do our scales. What do you, I don't, is this what you call it? What's on the back of your Fin? Thin? Uh, I think fin? of a dolphin have spins. Okay. Uh, scales, Spikes. scales are like the that. skin. Spikes. Armor plated scales. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you call them, we're going to draw the back part. So it's if, if it's as if it's on the back of your dragon. Yeah. Now, to do that, think of it as you can draw them more triangular, but I'm going to draw them a little bit swooping. So what I'm going to do is you're going to start near your ear, and you're going to think of it like you're drawing a smiley face. Oh. It's smiley. Yeah. I like smiley and faces. And then keep going and draw another smiley face. And then just keep coming down. So come down along your body. So you can decide, are your smiley faces small? Are they big? Yeah. Nice. And then keep going. OK. Then. We have a dragon on our hands. Isn't that cool? Yes. Good job. Thank you. That wasn't that hard, right? I'm very excited. <laughs> OK. So that is actually the drawing portion. Now we get to paint together. <laughs> You just drew a dragon. I'm so excited. <laughs> you just drew a dragon. We're excited to see what you do. Okay, now grab your brush and have a cup of water next to you. What you're going to do is we are going to mix green. So right now, let's see, do I have a... I'll show you. So right now what we have is we have blue and we have yellow. So those are the two colors we're starting with. Oh, those are pretty. Now, we have magical powers, and we're gonna make green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spin this, and I'm gonna mix a few drops of yellow and a few drops of blue. Oh, they're already mixing. Oh, I'm gonna mix them together. Ooh, that's a pretty Ooh. green. Love it. So, here's the cool thing. Okay. You can make different shades of green. So shades means that they're different, different, a slightly different version of it. Mm. So if I were to, I have my green right here. Like with a tint of a different color? Yeah. Okay. So, let's do this. Where I'm gonna do, if you have your palette, let's do three drops of blue and maybe one drop of yellow. Do you wanna mix that together? Oh yes. Then do you want to do a swatch? Ooh. Is that closer to blue? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get, oh. So it's like a foresty teal green. That is. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. OK, so now. I love colors. <laughs> we're going to mix these two together. So yellow and our green, which, let's see. So I'm going to do three drops of yellow, because it's more yellow. I call dibs on mixing. Do it and one drop of blue. Ooh, Let's see what we the get. The turntables have... <laughs> so we're gonna get more of a yellow green. Ooh, this is like a leaf green. Yes. Like leaf green Pokemon. I was gonna say Someone what? Someone may get that. I was gonna say Squirtle. Isn't Squirtle? Squ Squirtle <laughs> is a water Pokemon. Oh, but How he's green. You? I'm just kidding. No, he's not green. Squirtle's a water. He's, so blue? he's blue? Yeah. I tried. Good try. <laughs> okay, so you have more, you have yellow green, so you have green, you have yellow green, and you can call that blue green, mm. if that's helpful. That's like another way green. that you can do it. The blue green's my favorite of these colors. So when you have that, you can decide which one you want to make your dragon. Oh shoot. This is your painting, so you get to decide. Put that right there so they can see. So you can see, Actually, I have a tip for you. Okay. This is how you can kind of, oops, I got paint on me, is if you notice and you're looking at this, can you see how there are different shades of the different colors that we made? Yes. 
So maybe what we do is let's start with the lighter color, okay. and then we can go in and add a little bit of the darker one uh, to create the dimension. Okay, okay. How's that sound? I like that plan. Okay, so we're going to use the yellow green, the light green. So what you do is you dip in water, hit it off to the side a little bit. We're gonna share, because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And pick up a little bit of the light green. A lot. I did like uh, half my brush. That's good. Okay. Either way, because what's happening is we're going to create this whole area. Okay, we're going to call that a wash. Wash. We're going to do a wash. So you're just going to start and you're going to color inside. So you can start at any point. Just going to do a wash of the light green. Kind of mix it around. If you ever need to get more paint like that, if it gets a little bit lighter, you can go. I like to dip in water a little bit, so it kind of moves it around. Then you're gonna paint it. And remember, your lines are there as your, they're just there for your friend. You don't have to follow it exactly. They're just there to help you. We're gonna need more light green. Okay, I'm on it. That was more yellow than blue. I can't not. You like to stay in the lines. I like to stay in the lines. I don't. What? <laughs> That's good. It shows that everyone's a little bit different. It's dangerous. That's oh. risky. That green might be, let's see. There we go. There we go. That's oh, a good one. Oh, that's idea. it. So keep painting. So we're going to do the whole part. Ooh, that it is a little bit darker. So if you ever pick up a little bit more that Keenan did and you're, it's a little bit darker, that's the fun thing about watercolors. Is you kind of never know what you're going to get. And you allow yourself to be surprised. I, I just discovered I can't talk and paint. Okay. That's okay. Turns out. <laughs> I'll try and get better. I'll improve today. So you're going to paint the full body. Oh, and the ears. What if you did the ears like red? You definitely can do that. That would be fun. But you can't make red with yellow and blue. But as he as Keenan's going, I'll show you if you do want to make red. In your box, or if you have another color that's similar, grab grab either a magenta type of color or this is ours is called orchid so I'm gonna mix orchid and yellow now we have red can I see that yeah I went outside the line it's okay remember the line's just your friend it's just a guideline you, you can touch it you can yeah Go over it. Okay, that's if you want to make red. So red is orchid and yellow together. Good job. Do you want, are you going to make your ears red? Yeah. Do it. I think I'm going to do the outside to a darker green and the inside a red. Oh, Will that make like it muddy, see, though? If we wait. Okay, so, so do I, the I'll green do the first. outside. Yeah, do the outside first. Darker green. Yeah. That's gonna look so cool. So what he was saying is when he asked if it would muddy it, what that means is that if he were to mix those two colors together right away without it drying, they might bleed into each other, which mud is the same color as chocolate, as he said. Yes. So it's actually a good color. But if you're wanting to get green and red, then I would wait. So he's gonna do that part and he's gonna let it dry. And what's really cool, do you see how his kind of blended and exploded? Oh, you're already doing the next step. No, I'm not. I didn't mean no, to. No, in a great way. Oh. I didn't mean to call you out. Perfect. It's a great thing. So, do you see what he did where he kind of used a the darker green mm -hmm. to create this kind of shadow? Oh. 
So what you're gonna do is we're gonna start to shape our dragon. So you can either do the darker green or the middle green, either one that you want. And what you can do is pick up a little bit. So when you're doing this, we don't need a lot on this brush. So maybe just get the tip of it. And then what we're gonna do is you're going to, on the outline or outside of it, you're gonna kind of paint into it. Oh, mine's a little light. So if your paint is wet, it's going to do this cool thing where it kind of explodes into it. If yours is dry, what you can do is dip into your water. I'm gonna show you a trick. Is while it's still wet, we're just gonna use water and I'm just gonna overlap over that line and blend it in. Ooh. So that is a way. So can you see how we're starting to shape our dragon and it's feeling round? So this is how you do that. So keep doing that along the edges of your dragon. Another way, actually I wanna show you. Let's see, keep doing this. So again, you're just using water. Water's your friend. Everything's your friend, I guess. Everything's your friend. <laughs> I'm your friend. Keaton is your friend. So if you want even on this line, if you want to do that trick where you use water, dip it in water, and then kind of color over that line. Yeah, so see how it blends oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. One of those hard lines could be like a battle wound though. Deal. This dragon's seen some things. Deal. Uh, I was gonna say that if you want another way that you can do it, so I'm going to add and round out the back, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use water first. So you can try this out with me, just use water, and then you're gonna pick up your color. I should've done this with you. Maybe what you can do that? it. So I just use water, mm -hmm. and you draw a line on the back. You can do it. If you press harder, you'll get a thicker line. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now grab a darker green. Maybe the darker one. Okay, darker Perfect. one. So while it's still wet, now paint on top of it. Oh. It kind of bleeds into it. So it does what we were doing before. Dang, that's oh, cool. That looks so good. So again, we're just outlining the outside, so we're bringing our... Giving it some shape. That looks really good. Thank you. Okay. Just add some texture. Hmm. I noticed that my line was a little harsh over here, so I decided to wet it up a bit. Nice. Get the line out. You know? I love what's happening here. Me too, he's alive. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. If you want to do the same thing, actually now that I'm thinking about it, Keenan already did his ears. My ears, so actually this is a great example. Can you see when you're looking at this, this is the flat green, but with a darker green, it adds more dimension to it. Oh. And it shapes it. So what we can do is maybe we're gonna do a similar thing I'm gonna do an outline my ear. Oh. So I'm gonna. Oh, but now I can do red, because yeah. it's dry. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is great news. Do it. Here we go. I'm gonna turn it sideways, because I can't do straight lines sometimes. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna call this the vertical hold. I think I've heard that before, actually. <laughs> Get really close and really light. I did not do what I thought I would do, but it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really great. I love actually, so he's it's overlapping a little bit mm -hmm. and creating a whole new color. We're concentrating. Yes. That's sweet. So it's the inside of the ear? It's the inside of his ear. It's a source of firepower. 
He's the coolest dragon around. <laughs> Looks so good. He makes a mean pot roast. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, he's good at it. Oh. He's culinary chef. You know, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's been around as far as food goes. <laughs> you know. Love it. Nice. Now, and that's actually perfect because while we were talking, everything else dried. But what I was thinking... I'm, I'm making it wet again. Oh, that's okay. You're good. Because I was going to say is that whether it's dry or wet, actually, is the next step is that we are going to... Is that part dry? I just made it wet again. Oh, that whole part? Yeah, but it's okay. Okay. What I'm thinking... Mm -hmm. Go on. Is we're going to wait to draw the eye then. Because you don't mm. want to draw... what, Or you want to draw the eye when it's super... That, does that make any sense? You want to draw the eye when it's really wet or dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to... If you're following along with, with the zine, we're going to skip to step five, which is where we're going to draw our scales. Cool. Nope. Nope. Change your mind? Change my mind. Nice. Plot twist. Mind changed. We are going to... I forgot about our scales. Oh, we got to paint our scales. Not our scales. Our spikes. Our spikes. Okay. Oh, so, that's what you meant. Yes. What we're going to do is... Can you see how when you look at this, it has a few different colors. There's this really pretty yellow, and it transitions into n more colors. So what you can do is you want to do that same thing. Is Swish around your brush because we're going to change our color and we're going to start with yellow. So start with yellow and draw a stripe. So I'm just going to draw and color in a thin stripe. I don't want it to be too big. Ooh, that yellow really pops on the screen. Nice. Okay, then you let's swish out our color. Oops, I threw my brush. <laughs> and then we're going to go around our color wheel. So we have our yellow. We're okay. going to use a light green. So we're okay. going to move over one, pick that up. And then we are going to touch the yellow and draw a stripe again. So when that happens, is the the yellow kind of bleeds into it? Yeah. Nice. Then let's keep moving around the color wheel. Swish around. Hit off to the side. Go to the next color. You're going to do the same thing. Draw a stripe. Do I now, go with the... I actually, I think I want to make mine bigger. What? You can, you can <laughs> go with yours. Depends on how much blue you want. But yes, you can do that. I just sometimes color outside the lines. Good job. Thank you. That looks cool. Okay, then we need our... What color was that? Oh, this one. Okay. Now we have our blue-green. And we are going to do it again. Did it bleed a little bit? That's okay. <laughs> and you're going to do the same thing. Oh, kind of exploded. So now I'm going to start to do my spikes. We're just... Oh, I really like that color. That's a pretty blue. That is. I gotta go a little darker. Okay, do it. Look at you. Just mix up the colors. Just mixed it up. So then, if you want to add blue on the very tips of it, you can do that. So I'm gonna add blue, and I'm gonna add it to the tips of mine.
So you'll notice that if you have more color on your brush, it's going to be a darker color. So if you want it to be a lighter color, you're going to add more water. But I want this to be a really vibrant color. I took the majority of that and I apologize. It's okay. I can add more. I'm going to do water spots. Do it. Can you teach them? So what I did in the blue, because I just wanted spots of darker blue, I grabbed some blue and then where the paint was still wet, I just And I just dropped the paint in there and it did spots. And it explodes. It's kind of exploding and now it's blending a little bit, but it's still really cool. Love it. Okay, now that we have that, now we can add our scales. Yes. Ready? Okay. Okay. So to do this, you can choose any color, but what I want, this is where we're learning together, is that you have this color, so if we were to add the lighter yellow, it may not show up as much. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go on the other side of the wheel, and I'm gonna use a, the darker green or blue. Maybe we'll add a little bit more. Okay. That might be enough. We actually don't need a lot. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick up a little bit, just dip in. And so this is your time that I want you to be loose. You're not going to be tracing anything, so you can have, allow yourself to see what happens. So what I mean by that is we're going to draw these parts. And so they're kind of like V's. Okay, check marks. Check marks, actually that's a great way of saying it, check marks. So you're just drawing them kind of light. And so draw them along any part of your dragon, actually. You don't have to draw it on the back. And so if you want, you can also change up the color. Maybe I want mine to be a little bit blue. So drawing little check marks. I went upside down and did an A. <laughs> did that help? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that there. You can add a little bit more to maybe my belly. I did a couple really dark ones. Oh, I love that. Um, completely accidental, but we'll see how it turns out. It's turning out great. So add that in. If you want, do you like that or do you want it to blend in? It's nice if I go really dark actually because I don't have to go back for paint as often. <laughs> That's fair. So fewer trips. <laughs> it's more efficient. Cool, so add some there. You can add as many scales as you like. Check marks. Check mark scales. Then you'll notice that our dragon kind of has a smirk. Oh. Do you want your dragon to smile or do you want him to have a smirk? Do like a or have a the an upper lip thing or is it? Yeah, that's what we're drawing. It's drawing the side of our face and we're drawing this part. He's got attitude problem because <laughs> he's a dragon. Or you know, okay, I'm gonna do this. You can do it. Uh, you have a little bit of room. Okay. I'm gonna draw him half smiling, kind of an open. Okay. But then a fire coming out of him. That's way cool. But you have fire there. I have fire in his ears. <laughs> His ears are burning. Someone's talking. But you can about do it too. It won't. We won't see a little bit. A lot. That's of it. okay. I'll just do a smile smirk thing. Do it. Okay. So what's happening is that when you pick up a darker color, and you're gonna come not at the bottom of it, we're gonna come a little bit in between. Maybe well, that he's looks good. Too. So you're gonna draw a line. So leave a little bit of room in between so that it's like the bottom chin part of him. There you go. Yes. Nice. Draw 
draw that around. So then if you want to add more textures, you'll notice that there's these little lines. This is, you're the artist, so maybe you add some lines. Think about if the front of his nose kind of has some texture to it. You can draw that. I got excited. Now I got to put more color back in there because I got rid of some of them. Okay, we're good. He still has a face. This is great. So this is the time, if you want to add any more texture to your dragon, if you mm. feel like it. See how there's these little lines? Yeah. It's up to you. There you go, yeah. On his jawline. Maybe he has like a, a gash from a fight. <laughs> Right here. That works well. Keenan's adding some battle wounds to mm -hmm. his battle wounds to his dragon. I'm going to use the red that we made for Keenan's ear. And I need to make sure my brush is clean, so I'm gonna wash it off. He's got stitches. Oh <gasps> yes. Nice. And I'm gonna use some of the red slash orange. Just got a little little fire to him. Some blue here. And there we go. I think that's what I wanted to do. I don't know if you can tell that's fire, but to me, I know it's fire. Oh, I use it my totally imagination. Oh, it totally looks like fire. Boom! That is sweet. You can do it too, but you don't have to. Because you have a little bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mine just kind of looks like a fire tornado. <laughs> oh, got a little water. Okay. Now, what is next? The eye. The eye. The eye. So, if you want to make your eye black, what we can do is do another magic trick and we're going to use one drop of each color. I'm gonna mix those together. Yes. Oh. You wanna do a swatch to see? Swatch. Yeah. Wow, that is a great color. So we're gonna wash off our brush. Now, here's the thing that I wanna teach you is, I would grab a napkin and damp off your brush a little bit. So we don't want it to be really, really wet. And the reason why is we're gonna just use the very tip of our brush to paint our eye. Cause okay. if it was really wet, it would kind of do what we were doing where it would explode. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the tip and just kind of dip in. And then you're going to draw your eye. Okay. Do you feel comfortable doing that or do you want to use a pencil first? I'm going to do it. Okay, you can do it. So in this area, kind of around here, you're going to draw the top part. I'm going to practice first. Do it. So like I was saying, if you want to do it with a pencil, while Keaton's practicing, I can show you how to do that as well. So we're drawing it, so we're drawing one side of the eye. So we're drawing the side of the dragon, the profile, so you only see one eye. So that's why we're drawing one right now. So you're gonna draw a curve, and then another curve. So it's helpful maybe, like I wanna move them a little bit. And the cool thing about drawing eyes is that you can create an expression because our eyes can can say a lot so I love that shape thank you so you can decide how how skinny or more oval or more circular your eyes are okay so I'm gonna draw mine a little bit more oval so that's why it's a little bit closer together so again damp brush not damp brush dry brush dry brush <laughs> dip in just the tip perfect you got it. And I'm not gonna press very hard, and I'm just gonna draw a line.
There you go. So you're gonna draw the top and then you're gonna draw the bottom. Hmm. And then we're going to draw the circle part of it. So to do that is I'm just gonna draw a curve connecting them and then a curve. <laughs> I might have a different shaped eye on my hands. That is great. I like his eye. I actually really like, so what I'm thinking is that it's kind of the opposite. So you see how this one has the black pupil inside? Mm -hmm. Do you like that? And what if you just added a black dot to the middle? Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. I don't know. Try it out. Right here? Maybe. So, uh, yeah. Here? Yeah. Have it touch the bottom, maybe? A little bit? Well, see, that creates a way different expression. Do you like that? Yep. That is sweet. That's awesome. Okay, so if you did yours looking, I love that. Or what I was gonna teach you is that if you wanna do something similar to this, what I did was I drew my curves, and then I wanna have a little bit of twinkle in my eye, so I'm gonna draw a circle inside. Keenan drew a solid circle. Mine has a little bit of green, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint on the outside of it. Like that. And you can come to have it come to a point. Nice. See, yours looks nicer. Mine's ready for battle. <laughs> it totally is. He's got battle scars to prove it. Yes. Okay. That is. What about the background? It. For, I was gonna say that's it for our painting. Nice. If you want to add more, you can. But I think I feel good about that. How do you feel? <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> okay, so we have that. I would grab, let's do our gel pen first. We're gonna have to share. Okay, you go first. Okay, so what we're doing is that I would like to draw, give some texture. So you can mm. decide, maybe you add some, I don't know, maybe your spikes have scales on it. But when I drew that, my imagination in my head, they had these kind of curves. So I'm gonna use my gold gel pen. I'm just gonna draw them. So I'm not really following the lines. I like to go outside the lines sometimes. But I'm just drawing these same smiley faces around and around and around. Nice. Your turn. My turn. You can do whatever you like. You do not have to follow me exactly. I'm going to follow my line. Okay, the first, your back line. Uh huh. Nice. And then I'm going to do. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Mm-hmm. What's your dragon name again? Or did you say? I was gonna say we're naming this one Pete. Pete. This is Steve. <laughs> Steve. This is Did Steve tell you that? Mm-hmm. I keep thinking of Carl. Carl? <laughs> Carl the Kind Dragon. Carl the Kind Dragon. Because his eye does look kind. That's so cool. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you got your scales. So you can add, if you want to add a little bit more to yours, you can do that as well. But we're going to draw or use our magical Stickles. So if you have your little jar that looks like this, grab that and then I'm gonna move this so we can share. 
grab a popsicle stick that you have. And so what this is, is we are using it to draw the background. because It's as if we're creating the mood for our entire dragon. Now, when you're doing this, oh! We made his eye gold. That looks epic. Okay, is grab your popsicle stick. Popsicle Didn't stick. This one. Use that side. And you don't need a lot, so we're just gonna scoop up a little bit. And then around the outside of it, you can decide, do you want, do you want to puff a cloud of the sparkles? Do you want it around your whole thing? You get to decide. Like puff the magic dragon. Yes. So you are, we're just gonna spread it around. So if it's easier to hold it, you'll see that there's these really pretty stars. It could be a pile of treasure. Draw that. I don't know how. <laughs> If you have room, let's see. You can do it. If anyone wants to do that, I'm gonna show you because I love just showing you things. If you wanna draw, draw a pile of treasure? Yeah. Or let's draw a box of treasure. A box of treasure. Maybe it's gonna be down here. So draw a treasure box. You're gonna draw a rectangle. He could be the thief of the night. Let's and he see. could have a collection of stars. And once a month he takes Maybe them. draw a buckle on your on your chest. So you can just do that, that's pretty simple. Well, that's nice. Right? Here, and then I you can embellish your chest with your pink, oh, pink. Yes. The gold? The gold, that's the color I was looking for in my head. I could not find it. Thank you. Okay, now we gotta do this one too. <laughs> Okay, there we go. This is how you use your imagination and you create your own painting. Whatever comes to mind. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh. What if he was blowing stars out of his mouth and he's the dragon of the night and he gives us stars when we go to sleep? It's even better we than that other idea. One. We can make another one. <laughs> I use your idea. Look what I did. What a good idea. And, and then I'm, you're... I'm going to just put the stars inside. That's a good idea. Itty bitty living space. <laughs> I like the movie Aladdin. This is a really good movie. Both of them, the cartoon and. Oh, I do like the live action one too. That's true. Okay. I'm calling it. I am too. I think I like that. Just a little bit down here and my star treasure chest. Nice. Thank you for that idea. You're welcome. Boom. Okay. Good job. Thank you for being here. We are so excited to see what you made and also tell us what you named it. Yes, please tell us. We're very curious to know. Mine, did I say what mine was? Pete. Yeah. I said it. <laughs> so ha ask an adult to take a picture of it and share it. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects, and we want to cheer you on. We are all here together painting, and we hope you had so much fun. Yes. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.